Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and today we're going to be testing Mini Halfwood Press number 89. And this press has a particularly interesting story which I will touch on as we go along. I have my ink mixed, my little hot plate is warming up, and I have the, the uh, copper test plate etched and ready to go. I'm still using the Charbonnel black ink, although now I have a little bit of blue mixed in it, so you'll see what color it will be. And if I want to use them, I'll have some uh, modifiers, the burnt plate oil and some mo um, miracle gel reducer. So I'll get my gloves on and start applying the ink to the copper etching plate. For doing the ink application, I have little cut pieces of chipboard. It helps to warm the plate at this stage. The ink works into the textures more easily. It's oil-based ink, so it softens the ink, but not too hot. Next I go to the tarlatan and wipe the plate. When I use the tarlatan, I move it off into this, onto a gripper pad so the plate doesn't fly around so much. I'll use the tarlatan until the image is fairly clear, and then I'll switch to paper wiping. Paper wipe. And then finally, the last wipe is the hand wipe and I usually put a little talcum powder on my hand so that my hand doesn't stick to the plate if it's at all moist and when it all seems to be clear finally I'll clean the edges and I'll be ready to print I'll be setting up the press of course first and have a few words about the press itself. I'll tell you a little bit about this press. It's special because this one is going to England. This press is for Warren Rawls. Like all the Mini Halfwood presses, it comes with the little book and a box underneath. Inside the box is the Certificate of Authenticity new blankets, new felt blankets, the DVD you're watching uh, with a few extra bonus uh, recordings on it, a uh, new copper plate inside the envelope there, the test plate, Allen wrench for tightening the wheel in the unlikely event it should get loose, and on this card, when I'm all finished today, I will mount the copper plate on this section. And it explains why the card, why the plate is small, artist trading card, that kind of thing. A user's manual. And inside the user's manual, a bookmarker. And then, as I pointed out, the little book, the little, uh, like, birth certificate for the press telling about the special features. For example, this press uses paduk on certain parts of it for decoration, making it even more unique among the printmaking world. And that's what's inside the box. Number 89 has some special qualities. For example, the paduk uh, edging that Warren specifically asked for. It has the roller rulers we talked about uh, for setting the pressure. The bed is a polycarbonate, hard polycarbonate. I'll be setting up the pressure uh, for printing this plate, but I'll be using one of my older felts, not his brand new uh, felt blankets. The sizing catcher goes down first the thinner of the two blankets. When I set the pressure, 
I screw the top roller down all the way to the press bed and I make sure that the rollers are level and it's for that purpose that I built the roller rulers on the side. The roller rulers on the side give me a reference so that I can line up the top of the block with one of the numbers and then I can check it on the other side to make sure they're parallel. It's very important that they be kept parallel. Now the roller is all the way to the press bed. I then go back and I usually just count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten half turns and that gives me enough room to put the blanket under the felt blanket under the top roller, start it through, and then tighten it back down. One, two, three, four. About four half turns. I'm going to take the press off the turntable. Underneath the press, I have a, another gripper that keeps the press from moving around when I'm printing. Under my ink slab, I have my paper. I soaked this arch, arches cover paper for about an hour in water and then I blotted it dry and then I put it in this sandwich bag until now when I'm ready to use it. And before I print, before I print, I'm going to warm the plate one more time. This will give me a better print. I will make two trial proofs. It's my custom to make two trial proofs with every press I make. I keep one of the trial proofs and I send one to the owner. And for the benefit of the video, I'll turn the press. I have a practice of adding a moment number when I've printed. That is the, the year, 2011, the month, May, which is 05, 13, and the time of the day, which is 15.05 by the 24-hour clock, the moment number. And there's the first trial proof for the test of press number 89. And as I said, there will be a second trial proof. We're now watching the owner himself, Warren Rawls, inking his own plate for his own press. This will be the first print that I have pulled since about 1998 and I'm really looking forward to how it's going to come out through the press. Okay, that completes the test for number 89 on its way to England tomorrow morning on a jet plane in a carry-on bag. That's it for now. I thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ritchie. Bye-bye.